Hi, I'm Tony Hiscox of GB Sat, and the aim of this video is to show you how easy it is using U cells to fit the GB Sat receivers on mounts. Watch this. First, you must find south. Record a shadow at 12 noon Greenwich Mean Time, that's 11 o'clock British Summer Time, or use a compass. When you know where south is, make sure you have line of sight to your must-have satellites. The picture shows a near ideal scenario for everything from 48 degrees east to 48 degrees west. Here is another way to find south. Using your watch, in this example it's 3 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, Bisect the angle between 12 and 3, that is where south is. Here are some typical installations. Here you can see it's easy to install a dish at ground level, so long as you have line of sight over any solid objects. When you install the K to the wall, use a spirit level to confirm its level and check its still level as you tighten fully. Now mount the pole. And fit the T of T and K mount. Check the pole is level and mark the holes of the T against the wall. Slotted holes mean getting the upright left and right is now very easy. With the mount not quite tight, tap the T to get the level spot on. Now adjust the pole back and forward, again using the spirit level and hammer get the level spot on. When the pole is where it should be, tighten everything fully to make sure there is no movement. Put the mounting bracket on the back of the stab mount ready to fit it on the pole. The stab HDT mount is clearly marked with either latitude marking or polar elevation marking. Slide the mount down over the pole. The mount only needs to be loosely fitted at this time, but tight enough so that it won't drop forward. Not too tight so you can't make adjustments around the pole. Mount the dish on the stab mount's pole, setting dish declination to around 22 to 25 degrees. Make sure the pole, the stab mount and the back of the dish are in perfect alignment. 
Now align approximately for south using the method shown before. Remember to use Greenwich Mean Time. If you don't, you'll be off by about 15 degrees. Check the cable length and prepare the ends. First cut to the core about a quarter of an inch of the cable. Now cut away just the outer plastic, about a quarter of an inch, leaving the thick metal braid. Fold back the outer braid and twist on the F connectors. Snip back the core so it's just proud of the F connector and connect the cables up. The satellite beeper gives a rising pitch tone, the tighter you are on the satellite. Move the whole mount around the pole and fine tune the dish declination until you've peaked the signal. Ok that's it, watch the video a few times through before you start, understand what you're trying to achieve and then have a go. Bye for now.